uh, most of the Arab countries, the women are not accepting the second marriage. And this topic, I was expecting this to be raised, but it looks like everybody tried to hide this, where it's mainly happening everywhere. And uh, the main question first uh, is the woman has the right for a divorce if she knows that her husband already get another wife? Second, uh, normally if this has happened, and to avoid that breaking the first life, to avoid breaking the first life, and it's already happened. Now, is it wise or permissible to hide this and for how long? And if you get the right time, how the best way to inform the first wife that about this? Of course, it will be a war, but this would be like a reason for breaking the... the did you do that, or are you planning to? <laughs> well, I, I did already. But I did already. The second question is, do you want the sisters to hate me? <laughs> that is very tricky. This is reality. This is reality. And subhanAllah, Allah Almighty created the men and women in a different way. They will never understand your mentality or the, your emotion, and you can never understand theirs. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So Allah Almighty allowed this for many wisdoms, a real life. And uh, it can be a solution to many uh, other problems. However, if a person cannot do it in the right way, it could create problems. So uh, if you have uh, a family and you think that you need a second wife and you want to, but you fear that you might not do justice to both of them, from the Islamic point of view, it becomes impermissible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly stated in the Holy Quran in the same ayah, in the same verse, so that nobody will misunderstand it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same verse, after allowing a man to marry up to four, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but if you fear that you will not do justice, then marry only one. So that is the first, you know yourself better than anybody else. You know yourself even better than your own wife, your own father and mother. You know from yourself, if you take this initiative, what is going to happen? The reaction of a woman, I guarantee you, is not going to be peaceful. No woman, is, it's not natural. Yes, some of them try to control their emotions or psychology, but in the beginning, it's going to be a quite, quite hectic. How to deal with it, that is why you are supposed to be the man. You should know how to deal with it, how to be patient, how to uh, make them understand. And the best way to do that is in practice. If you are uh, generous to them and you are uh, just doing just with them and you are explaining why you took such uh, initiative or su uh, such a step, uh, it might uh, work out. Now, uh, another point. Dealing with women, as we said uh, earlier, a uh, tricky point. There is one narration saying that they can overpower any good man and only a bad man can overpower them. Which is a reality. If you want to control, you have to break them down or you have to be emotionally stressful or, uh, or some other way. But if you are going to let them, the Islamic point of view, let them put off some steam. Let them bring out their emotions and be open with them and explain to them. And the second point also regarding jealousy from both sides, men and women, uh, this is a reality. The Messenger Muhammad said in one hadith, there are two types of jealousy. A jealousy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and a kind of jealousy that Allah Almighty hates. Two times. The Dabzir Muhammad explained it. The jealousy that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala loves is the one that is out of real worries or suspicion. Something is there. And you fear, and that is why you are jealous. The other type of jealousy that Dabzir Muhammad said that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala hates is a jealousy without a reason, without suspicion. There is no reason whatsoever and you start thinking why she is doing that or why he is doing that. And uh, this is one of the key uh, problems uh, in real life. Now taking that decision, this is purely, purely a personal level. You know yourself better, you know your needs better, and when you take that decision, you have to deal with the consequences yourself. That is your part. The second one, if you think you cannot handle it, don't. Something else also. Sometimes when the first family doesn't work out, a man tries to make a new family. In my opinion, this is wrong. If you failed with the first one, for sure you will fail with the second one. The problem is yours. You couldn't handle one, let alone handling two. 
I see Bill. No, no, not you. I just explained. So this is not. This is not about you. You know yourself. This is just explaining in generalization because from the problems that we see, uh, I'm seeing problems in the first family, and the man thinks the solution is bringing another woman. Come on. <laughs> you cannot handle even two sisters together or two very close friends together. It's very critical and tricky to bring two women together, let alone loving the same man. So that is why uh, if uh, a person is facing problems in the first one, the solution is not to go for a second one for sure. Uh, the next point after that from the woman's side. If the man was just to you and fair, uh, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was uh, faithful, honest, doing his duties, you have, from some point of view, you have no right to mess up with his new choice. That is the first thing. As long as you are getting your rights. If you do that, you are transgressing. Because this is, he's doing, he hasn't done any crime. That is his choice. Sadly, from experience and from counseling, there are some women, Muslims, and they think that a man, they, they are fine with a man doing something wrong as long as he's not going to marry. Get for a bit. This is unbelievable. Here, the emotion is overtaking them. Uh, this is uh, problematic. From the same point, if he is being fair, if he is going to give you your rights and the others fairly and honestly, and if it is okay with you, alhamdulillah, great. If you think you cannot handle it from your own part, for example, you, cannot, you will not be just to him. You cannot uh, have the same uh, level. You can file for khulu. Here, he hasn't done anything wrong. If he was fair, you file for khulu, and that's it, separation. Else, if he has done any harm for you, for example, not giving you equal, equal time or equal treatment or uh, equal rights, you can file for harm due to, uh, file for divorce due to harm. The difference between them is that you will continue to get all your rights in marriage. So here, uh, final point, marrying a second wife makes more restriction on the husband than on the wife. Before marriage, you are free. You'd like to travel, you'd like to stay, you'd like to stay out, you'd like to have intimate relation or not, etc. You have lots of freedom. But when you marry a second one, you have to keep in mind all of these details. Whose right is it and whose time is it? And when you are going to travel, you have to make a choice and, and so on. And when you give one of them a gift, you have to make to the second one. In fact, some scholars mention even being equal with showing intimacy, intimate kisses and intimate relationship and intimate words. And, and, and love. So you have to show the exact same thing. So here, the restriction is on you now. You are no longer having that luxury. So uh, the uh, polygamy can work for some people. I, from, from experience, I have seen one of my own teacher, real life, he's married to two. He was Lebanese, by the way, unbelievable. And they were living like friends in the same house, two stories house. Whenever they leave, they leave together, they visit people together, they go shop together, and when one of them buys something, she buys the same for her, uh, the second wife, and the same. They, as far as we have seen, and uh, I, uh, we have been around them for about uh, 12 years, or 10 years, uh, throughout that, we have never seen any problem between them. Good work. On the other hand, we have seen wars arising, real wars, yes from uh, a second marriage. So it could work for some people, it might not work for others. Main player is the husband first, and then the choice of a wife, uh, and the rest of the circumstances. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows this now.